Hey, good morning everyone, Tracksman44 here. Hey, you can tell by looking over my shoulder, the firewood pile is uh, really getting worn down. Uh, that's because I keep dragging some of the better looking logs out of the firewood pile and bring them over here for the sawmill. This one here doesn't look worth the darn on the outside. It's got a lot of, uh, a lot of sap rot. We can look at the end of it here in a minute before we start. But uh, I think there's gonna be a little bit of good stuff right in the middle. Let's take a look, see, see what comes out of it. Yeah, so you can see it's reasonably solid down here, but we've got two and a half inches of sapwood that's really showing some rot or decay. But that's okay, like I say, the heartwood's what we're real concerned about. I've got something in mind for this particular log anyway, so hopefully it nets a little bit. Well, I guess I better tell you, before you get started, especially after it's set for a couple of months, um, out in the weather like this one does here, even though it's dark, you gotta go over the normal points of, uh, of lubrication. You want to keep your cables lubricated and up here on this little brake uh, that actually recommends every time you use it drop a couple of drops of oil in it so you got to take care of those things and of course check your oil top off your gas uh, probably use treated gas and this thing here has got a big old thing on the gas tank that says no e85 so this is a uh, we try to run pure gas as much as we can in this thing here well i actually have so far but uh other than that uh, making sure the blade's good shape tension your blade and you're ready to rock This stuff with the real, real uh, thick sap with it, body. I make nice thick slabs. But this goes in the firewood pile, and uh, making them nice and thick is going to make them uh, much better for eating. I got one good three by six by uh, almost nine foot, which is gonna give me at least two and possibly three uh, bunks, which is exactly what I wanted. So now I got three and a half inches left on this guy right here. I'm gonna go ahead and rip off a couple of two by fours real quick.
Well, guys, I got to tell you, I was really surprised. That nasty old log got me two one by eights, a half a dozen two by fours. Uh, really good, actually, two by fours. Naughty, but uh, very good straight two by fours. And also um, got me that three by six that I'm going to be able to make a minimum of two and possibly even three 35 inch bunks for that uh, for that bed frame. So I'm just tickled to death with that. I, I just didn't know how much good was going to be in there. But you know, you can't tell a book by cover and you can't tell a log <laughs> by what the outside looks like. So I'm tickled to death with it. We're going to go ahead and put another gnarly one on top of there and uh, see what we can get out of that one. The next one is actually going to be the top portion of a nasty old log I did a month or two ago. So for now, this is Trackman 44.